what's happening? <laughs> Jason up, New Year's Revolution, down here in the cave. Day 20. Christmas in the 80s, day 20. Uh, worked all day. Now that now that school is out for my children, uh, they are homeschooled. I think somebody asked me a question on Power Hour. Um, why homeschool? And I'll answer it. I'll answer it during a Power Hour. Uh, but they're off. They're off because we make the rules. <laughs> so they're off. They've been actually off since uh, like a week before the trip to Orlando. And they won't go back to school till like, I don't know, first week in January. Uh, but it, when they're off, I work all day. I schedule patients all day um, to just take advantage. of it. When they're in school, I go in at about noon or one. And I teach during the day, during the morning. Uh, teach Liam. So uh, today was a long day is what I'm getting at, folks. Uh, long day. Long day. It's 7 o'clock right now when I'm making this uh, luscious video for you guys. Uh, I came home today. My 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 ten year old is uh, he's really into like Asian food and Asian culture. I, I I don't know where it came from. I think it came from the Chinese buffet. To be uh, racially honest with you, um, and now he just you know loves it. So they we have a bunch of Asian markets uh, locally, and he um, he went there today to buy some food for Christmas Eve. And of course we got the pickled ginger, but he brought home some, uh, kimchi and I've had kimchi before and I absolutely adore it. Uh, yeah, that's right. I said adore. Uh, if you haven't had kimchi and you want to send your, uh, taste buds on a, on a vacation, uh, try kimchi. It's, uh, it's intense. It's a different, it's nothing like you've had before. It's all fermented and it's so fermented that if you listen closely to the jar of it, it's sizzling. <laughs> It's bubbling. Yeah, but it's good. Kimchi. Anyway, that's random. So random. Day 20 of uh, Christmas in the 80s. Day 20. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Tuesday. We're a few days away from the big day. And um, when I did the show yesterday and asked, what do people want to see in the new year? I got super excited because everybody's ideas are so great. And... Um, I am so excited about the room remodel. I, I am so, I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make this wall the living room. And look, that includes putting stuff away uh, that, you know, I, I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to uh, put stuff away if I have to, so I can get a full size couch down here, a full size coffee table. And I know what I want. I, I have one in mind. And, um, and then that Zenith, Zenith system three is just going to be banging. It's going to be so great. We're going to do dinner and a movie. As somebody mentioned, we're going to do vintage horror night. We're going to do Saturday morning cartoons with cereal that probably can't be filmed on Saturday morning. So I'll have to do the magic of, you know, editing, uh, and, and air it on Saturday, but I'll probably film it at, at night <laughs> because I'm, I work on Saturday mornings in my office. Uh, anyway, that's all gobbledygook. Um, yeah, I'm pumped about the new year on the channel. You guys gave me a lot of good ideas about things that you want to see. Most of you said don't change anything. That's lovely. Um, all right. So speaking of the excitement of, of the room remodel and bringing back the uh, movie watching and, and just, uh, so movie watching down here, uh, will only be. Well, that's not true. It'll mostly be VHS. It'll mostly be VHS. I can hook a DVD player up to the Zenith. That's fine. Uh, that has to happen if I want to watch wrestling down here. Um, but mostly I'll watch VHS down here. And so I thought, well, hey, let's take a look at my uh, my growing collection of um, uh, taped from television VHS. Yeah. Uh, to me, there's something very special about um, movies that are captured from HBO in the 80s, from Cinemax, from Showtime, from USA, uh, from network TV. I don't care uh, if they're if and, and eBay has a ton, a ton. And um, I mean, you can buy massive lots of tapes 
on eBay for, you know, less than $50 and get, you know, 50 tapes of random stuff that people just taped off TV and then are, are selling. Unfortunately, sometimes it creeps into the late 90s and early 2000s, believe it or not, when old folks still use the VCR. And I, I don't want that, but I, you know, there's so much good stuff out there. Um, so I'm almost more into that than buying, you know, the commercially released VHS tapes of movies. I like to watch uh, made from TV VHS tapes that uh, I, in a perfect world would contain commercials. Anyway, as we get down here, as we as we remodel the room, as we make the television the focal point, that's right, this room is going to be centered around the living room set. Right now, the living room is just a portion of the room. In the new year, the living room is going to be the focal point of the room, and everything is going to take a back seat to the living room. And by living room... I include the television, obviously, and the accessories that go with the television, which include VHS. So no more are my VHS tapes going to be packed away in the sump pump room. No, indeed, uh, they're coming out. They're going to get their showcase, as they certainly deserve. Uh, so anyway, I'll, I, will, I will go through my uh, growing and newly started uh, taped from TV VHS collection. So here we go. And these are movies that we're all going to watch together on the Zenith System 3. And if I'm feeling it, the 19-inch the Zenith Space Command, if I'm feeling like going real back backstage, back backstage, retro, back in time is what I meant. Anyway, um, check this out. We've got uh, Critters on VHS, on Polaroid VHS. Look at the detail that uh, somebody went into by typing out the label. And then this this 130 sticker, I assume, is uh, their catalog number. This is their 130th tape, I assume. I don't know. But Critters on uh, taped from TV Polaroid VHS with some pretty fancy uh, labeling going on there. That is part of the... VHS collection. Next up, uh, uh, apparently from the same seller, April Fool's Day on Polaroid. Uh, this was taped April 1st, 1987, and it's tape 142. How about that? So April Fool's Day, we will watch on VHS. Now, I can't remember if this was taped off of Showtime or Cinemax or HBO, but we're going to find out. And I really hope that I score the HBO, you know, opening movie montage music thing that they did, the cityscape and the... -na 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 -na. I, 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 I assume that if it's HBO, we're going to get that beautiful score. What else we got here? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Kodak tape. Uh, we've got Friday the 13th Part 5 uh, and a Clockwork Orange. I, I, I've never seen Clockwork Orange. I didn't get this tape for Clockwork Orange. I got it for Friday the 13th Part 5 taped off VHS. Again, I have no idea if it's USA up all night, if it's uh, cable, you know, if it's a pay channel, HBO. I have no idea. It doesn't matter. But uh, a couple of movies there to go through. We've got, um, oh, this I've already watched with you guys, actually. Uh, we've got a 2020 episode on airplane safety or airplane computers. I don't know. It says airplane computer. And then Amazing Stories, the movie, which we actually did watch together on a Saturday night movie night or a vintage horror night or whatever I was calling it. But, you know, we still have that. That's pretty awesome. Um, we've got... I don't know why I bought this. I don't know if this was like super cheap or something. No, actually, I think I got this at a garage sale. I would not have bought this off eBay. I got this at a garage sale locally. Uh, Crocodile, yeah, Crocodile Dundee Part 2 on VHS. It was at a garage sale for like a dime. Of course I'm getting it. Oh, this, this I've already seen. I have actually watched this myself. And I rewrote the label. But uh, Friday the 13th Part 2 on USA. 
Commander USA. Remember that guy, Commander USA, um, on on the USA Network, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, probably on a Sunday afternoon in like the mid '80s. I just love it. I just love it. Uh, next up is oh another another nice um, presentation, and I'll probably watch at least two of these movies down here. Uh, we got Jason Goes to Hell, uh, Ace Ventura, and Interview with a Vampire. Now, unfortunately, these were taped in 1995. Uh, they did another splendid job on the label there. So um, these are not taped off TV in the 80s, but I got Jason Goes to Hell on, you know, taped off TV VHS. It's all good. 1995. I don't think I'll watch Ace Ventura down here. I might watch Interview with a Vampire. I feel like that's a... That's a nerd cave kind of movie. What else we got? Oh, so this is so this is old. It's it's labeled old horror from Showtime, and then the movie Big from HBO. Um, and the old horror is the creepy flesh, the giant claw, and the black room. No idea. I assume it's just cheese ball middle of the night showtime horror but when i see that on ebay for like 4.99 i'm getting it i'm getting it no idea what those three movies are about no clue no idea all right this one this one i bought locally again thought i hit the jackpot didn't it's a sleepaway camp one two and three now you see that and you go oh my goodness Sleep away, sleep away Camp 1, 2, and 3, taped off of TV in the 80s, HBO, Midnight, incredible. No, it's just it's just like um, um, copies of, of the actual commercial releases, I assume. There's no commercials, there's no nothing, but that's okay. That's okay. It's still Sleep Away Camp on VHS. I'm all about it. Uh, finally, uh, this was also local. I thought I had more Friday the 13th. I've only got Friday the 13th 2, Jason Goes to Hell, and 5. I thought I had more Friday the 13th taped off TV. I guess not. This one I got locally. Um, it's A Christmas Story and the Emmett Otter Jug Band Christmas and A Christmas Carol and a copy of a, of a local news broadcast. All here on Rochester TV. I don't know the date. I assume it's late 80s. But A Christmas Story. And I don't know if it's, you know, A Christmas Story. Or are there other movies called The Christmas Story? I don't know. But Channel 10 News, uh, A Christmas Story, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas, and A Christmas Carol. All on a VHS. All taped locally. Locally! Rochester Television right here. All mid-80s, late-80s, I assume. Looking forward to watching that. There are a ton of commercially released VHS tapes in my collection um, that I will showcase once we do the room remodel. Um, we've got two. We've got at least two VCRs to work off of. Um, I really am just looking forward to um, showcasing the living room in this room. Um, and that's never been done before. It's all about showcasing the bookshelves and the toys. I really, really want to showcase the living room. Uh, I would like to find, and I think I can get a newer one, a modern one. Uh, I would really like one of those oval, multicolored rugs uh, to put down here um, underneath the end and underneath the coffee table. Um, I just have so many ideas of, of what we're going to do down here. I'm so pumped about it, but. Um, yeah, that's that's the that's the growing uh, taped from TV VHS collection. There's so much out there that I could just dive into. I mean, there's cartoons, there's blocks of Saturday morning cartoon VHS tapes that have commercials. Unfortunately, people put those at a buy it now for like thirty nine ninety nine. That's not happening. Uh, there's a reason why they sit at thirty nine ninety nine for the entire year. Uh, because nobody's buying them. If they went to auction, they'd be a twelve dollar tape. Um, but there's just so like I'm 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 so much 
into showcasing the living room, showcasing the television, um, you know, showcasing the cable boxes of the past. This room is, is in my mind, is kind of transitioning into that living room uh, motif. So there, a lot of changes in this room, but that's what's upcoming uh, when we do the remodel. A lot of um, dinner and a movie night where I cook something for myself, uh, eat it with you guys, and then come down here, watch the movie, talk about it. Uh, we could do that, like I said, for Saturday morning cartoons. Um, we can certainly bring wrestling with the past down here. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. And uh, all right, so that's a quick look at that uh, VHS collection. We will come back. It's day 20. Tomorrow's day 21, obviously. And um, I'm pumped. Christmas is right around the corner. We're, we're getting there. Uh, I'm excited. We, we might do a uh, Whatever Happened to Christmas uh, video on Christmas. And I, I think that'll, I, I think that might morph, morph into like my, my top Christmas memories, just sitting around chatting with you guys. Um, another big thing that I want to tell you, um, we're going to go live in the new year. I'm going to try to do it once a week. I think that that's too much to ask of myself. Um, not too much of you guys to ask of me. It's too much of me to ask of me. It might be really hard to do once a week, but we are going to do live shows in the new year. I, we, you know, we just need that connection. So, all right, that's the, uh, that's the, that's the show day 20 in the books. We'll see y'all next time. Good night now.